Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. Uh, I'm gonna announce something here. And it's the standard pauper gauntlet! Would look much nicer like that. Ha! My production value is enormous! A whole army of standard pauper decks will run the gauntlet and who will survive the longest? This will start when Pure uh, MTGO publishes this article, uh, which is probably February the 24th in 2014. That is after Born of the Gods has been released and been around for a little, little while on Magic Online. So, before I explain what the Pauper Gauntlet is, and in this case the standard Pauper Gauntlet, I want you to meet the cast. So, the, the, this will be played by Brennan Rankin. Brennan has made uh, a couple of videos, he's Cerulean on Pauper to the People forum, and you know him from both MTGO Strat and Magic Gathering Strat YouTube. He will be playing the standard Pauper decks in the standard Pauper Gauntlet. The bad cop will be played by Avery61. His job is to um, look at the decks submitted and uh, make them better or reject them. And I will be there as the drunk Viking. I will hang around, drink mead, uh, look at it and not be of much use whatsoever. So, what is the Pauper Gauntlet? Uh, the Pope Gauntlet is uh, a race in um, in this case in either the tournament practice or the just for fun room. You pretty much need to look for games in both rooms to find a Pope uh, standard pauper match. Uh, a random opponent joins the match, and then the deck plays. And if the deck loses, it's eliminated. If the deck wins, it moves on to the next round of the gauntlet. So every deck plays one match, see if it's eliminated, and then we move on. And Brennan is playing all the decks uh, or other Magic Gathering Strat people covering for him in case he isn't doing his job. And uh, that would probably be me first and maybe other people like Bava. And uh, no matter what happens, the result counts. Um, so if, uh, if the opponent randomly leaves, if the opponent willingly leaves, if the opponent does anything, the result counts. If Magic Online says the match was won, the match was won, and the deck moves on to the next round. Uh, matches will be 30 minutes, and it's a competition between decks, not between people. So, which deck can run? You guys can submit decks or propose decks on Pure MTGO uh, in the uh, comments to this article that you're reading right now, if you're watching this on Pure in February 2014. And the only way to submit a deck uh, will be in the comments to that article. Uh, we will also be looking at uh, player run events, uh, unless standard pop is a sanction format at the time, in which case we will be very happy. Uh, and look for candidates there. We don't really know what the meta will look like at all, so this is very different from the classic popper gauntlet, as this is a rotating format and decks could be decks will be extremely different. Uh, in February. When you submit a deck, you should link to any play run event results with the deck, a deck list, and uh, give a motivation why your deck should be in the gauntlet. Brennan has a uh, final say. I should learn English. Um, which decks get to run? Uh, the list of competing decks will be presented on my birthday. I am 17 on, uh, on Monday, March 10th. Uh, but not 2014. But it is my uh, birthday on March 10th. So which deck can run in the Pauper Gauntlet for a standard Pauper? If it is an innovative brew, a brew if Brandon has it built uh, and has played it, if you've seen him play it in videos, that's definitely a good argument. He will have all the cards. If for some reason he doesn't have any card, I will give it to him. Uh, if there is a sideboard plan for the deck, if there is a player run, uh, events, player run event results that uh, comes from after Tero's release, it is interesting. If there is forum discussion or other community interest in the deck, uh, that's very interesting as well. If more than five people says that the deck should be in the gauntlet, it's a strong argument for it, but it's not an auto-include. If four of the above happens, it's an auto-include, and we will cap the competition at 50 decks. Um, Wow, this was small. Let's make it bigger. Bigger is better. So, okay. 
All the matches will be posted on uh, this YouTube channel, Magic Gathering Strat. Every video will be titled Standard Pauper Gauntlet. And uh, the probably deck names won't be Delver, uh, Gruul Agro versus, say, uh, Demir Mill. Maybe. Will be a realistic thing. Uh, only the first deck in the title is the competitor. The other is the deck played by the random opponent. And if that deck happens to be a deck in the gauntlet, that doesn't matter. Uh, Magic Gastra tweet will tweet whenever a video is published. Uh, sorry, but we cannot automatically hashtag uh, the gauntlet videos. Uh, so this will tweet all the videos on Magic Gathering Strat. And that is a lot of videos. Decks will be featured in MTG Strat. Uh, Minor updates will also be made on MTG Strat. Summaries will be posted on PureMTGO.com. The winning deck will be announced on PureMTGO and we will discuss its road to victory. Uh, this will be the main link for Gauntlet Info on MTG Strat. So what are the differences from the Pauper Gauntlet as, uh, as it is being played right now actually when I'm making this video? Uh, it's a different player. Brennan is playing. I'm not playing unless there is a problem. There will be fewer decks. Uh, if we cap it at 50, I will be very surprised. Uh, I think if we did this today, there will probably be around 20 decks. Uh, there might be some sort of player competition, like the Steam Wins competition that we are running right now for the Pauper Gauntlet. But uh, I have to get back to you on that. Uh, that information will not be available in this video. Uh, it will happen at a different time of year from the Pauper Gauntlet. Because it is now my intention that the classic Pauper Gauntlet will return in July 2014. And it's a rotating format which makes things a lot different. So this is all cleared. It's going to happen. You cannot influence it. <laughs> but you can have questions and you can have thoughts and... Uh, we can add further rules. For example, I haven't mentioned if there should be a, a rule where the deck gets some sort of handicap. Playing in the Just for Fun room is something we have to do here, so that cannot be the handicap. I haven't discussed the vote back situation, if there should be a vote back, etc. So all of those things are up for grabs. So tell me what you want to see and what you don't want to see in uh, the standard pauper gauntlet. Thank you for watching.